today I am back with my October TBR for 2019. I have a total of seven books. If you're new here, you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has some theme that goes along with it. So without further ado, let us get started. So the theme that my mom chose this month are things that people are scared of. It'll make sense once you see the title of the books, but... So the first book that she picked was The Book of Blood and Shadows by Robin Wasserman, and she chose this because blood... I'm afraid of blood, so this is what got the whole thing rolling. I hate blood with a passion. So you know if, like, my kids ever, like, cut themselves, it's up to their father to figure that shit out because your girl running away, so. This follows a girl named Nora whose best friend Chris dies and is basically her trying to figure out who the murderer is. I have literally seen nobody talk about this. I've never heard anything about it, so I have no idea what the average opinion of this is. So I'm actually kind of interested to see what this book is all about. The next book that she picked was First Grave on the Right by Dorinda Jones because people are afraid of death. This is basically just a story about a female grim reaper and then she's also a private detective as well and it's like her job to like bring the people towards the light. Apparently it's really funny. I've heard at times that the series can be problematic and some people have a lot of problems with it but I've had this on my shelf for like a thousand trillion years. There's like 20 in the series. This is obviously the first one. I guess we're gonna see what we think of it when we read it. The next book that she chose is pretty self-explanatory. It's Destroy All Monsters by Sam J. Miller. People are afraid of monsters especially when they're under your bed and you're a small child. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. I think it was released a couple of months ago. I won this from HTC Frenzy when I went to like their event and it was like a tweeting thing. Whoever tweeted the most random draw, they won a book. So this is the book that I ended up choosing. It follows a boy named Solomon who spends most of his time in the other world and his friend Ash who is trying to bring him back to reality but she fell out of a tree 12 years ago. She knows that something's wrong with Solomon but she can't quite place it because she lost her memory when she fell out of the tree. So it's like the story of her trying to get her memory back and save Solomon at the same time. I don't know. I'm assuming it's gonna be like magical realism kind of thing. I have no idea. Haven't heard anybody talk about it, but I'm intrigued. The next book that she chose was The Cellar, and this is pretty self-explanatory. People are afraid of cellars sometimes because you know they're dark and creepy and there's monsters down there. But this is by Natasha Preston, and I don't know too many people who have read this particular book by her. I know they've read a lot of other books by her and they say they're not very good, but that's fine. We're going with it. But this follows a girl who gets kidnapped and locked in a cellar with three other girls and it's like this story of that. I'm assuming they're going to try to escape, but who really knows? Next book is Secrets, Lies, and Alibis by Patricia H. Rushford and Harrison James. I originally thought that she chose this because of the gunshots, because like people are scared of getting shot, but apparently no. It's just because people are afraid of secrets and lies, so we'll go with it. This follows a rookie investigator who gets his first murder case and is like him trying to solve it. Again, have not heard anybody talk about it, but I really like this cover because there's like actual holes in it. You probably can't see, but there's actual holes in it and I think that's pretty cool. Next one is interesting why she chose it. It's Going Bovine by Libba Bray and she said, because some people might be scared of very strong cows. So. I don't know. I'm excited for this one just because it's Libba Bray. She wrote the Diviner series, which is one of my favorite series of all time, so I'm interested to see how she writes other books because I've only read the Diviner series by her, so let me know down below if you've read this and if you like it because I'm, I'm curious. And then the final one is the funniest thing that I've ever heard for her reasoning and how she came up with this. It's The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. If you guys are familiar with Chicken Little, his catchphrase is the sky is falling, the sky is falling because he was basically afraid of everything. And that's why she chose this book and I just think that's really funny but it follows a girl whose sister dies unexpectedly and then she's dealing with her sister's boyfriend grieving but then she's also trying to balance her own boyfriend and then I think she ends up starting to like the sister's boyfriend something like that probably wrong I've read one other book by Jandy Nelson the I'll give you the sun book. I really liked it, so I'm interested to see what I think of her other book. Alright guys, so that was my October TBR for 2019. It is definitely ambitious. I 100% will not get through all of these books because I'm in teacher's college right now. We got a lot of work that we have to do and a lot of readings for school, so reading for fun doesn't really happen anymore, but you know, it's fine. We're pretending that we're okay. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>